You're hooked up to your daily information source, Jamaica Magazine. I'm Adrian Atkinson. Thanks for tuning in. In the program today... Persons pay a premium or money on a monthly, quarterly or annual basis depending on the arrangements and if something happens, the insurance company will in turn give you money or assistance to compensate for the loss. Plus, keeping the school environment safe and violence-free. The lineup contains those elements and more, like our news package. Andrew Chisholm has that right after this important message. March 15. March 15. March 15. Employers, employees, and self-employed persons take note. March 15, 2014 is the deadline to file your income tax returns for 2013-2014. Visit your local tax office or get 24-hour access by registering online at jamaicatax-online.gov.jm. Remember to use the correct form. Self-employed persons or persons with other sources of income should use the IT01 form. Individuals whose only income is taxed at source, for example, PAYE or withholding tax should use the IT05 form and those filing on behalf of companies should use the IT02 form. For more information, contact Tax Administration Jamaica's Customer Care Center at 1-888-TAX-HELP. That's 1-888-829-4357. Good day, I'm Andrea Chisholm and this is your GIS News for Wednesday, March 12. The Ministry of Labour and Social Security is to submit the final draft of the National Disability Bill to Cabinet for its consideration by next week. Portfolio Minister Derek Kelly made the announcement Tuesday during the opening ceremony for the inaugural biennial two-day regional conference being staged by the University of the West Indies Centre for Disability Studies. The proposed act seeks to make provisions to safeguard and enhance the welfare of persons with disabilities across Jamaica. Minister Kelly says once Cabinet has completed its deliberations on the bill, which has already been reviewed by Parliament's Legislative Committee, it will be tabled in the House of Representatives without delay. I'm fairly confident that Jamaica will have its first Native National Disability Act by the time we come as a nation in five months' time to celebrate our 52nd anniversary of independence. Connecting farmers with markets for their produce is the significance of an agreement signed on Monday between the Jamaica Agricultural Society Commercial Enterprises Limited, JASEL, and the import and wholesale distribution firm Nation's Choice. The partnership will help 50 farmers with the planting of specific crops and animal rearing, as well as the provision of distribution outlets. The Jamaica Agricultural Society is really committed to work in this area to to solve agricultural marketing as we feel that it will help to drive increased production, drive productivity and certainly ensure that the country and the economy grow stronger. The JAS president says sales within the first year are projected at $100 million. JASEL will supply Nation's Choice with high quality produce from contracted farmers while the firm will market and promote both the farmers and their produce to its existing and future clients. We are already supplying local pork and beef to our hotel customers and we always wanted to distribute more homegrown foods. This MOU therefore gives us an opportunity to do so and we are very excited about it. Government has spent $256 million through the Primary Education Support Program to establish the new Red Hills Primary School in St. Andrew, which now replaces Red Hills All Age. The new institution, which comprises 19 new classrooms, will accommodate 630 students. It also has a library, wheelchair ramps, an upgraded play field, and a multi-purpose hard court, among other tools to aid the learning process. The ministry encourages the leadership of this school and others to ensure that the fundamentals of literacy, numeracy, and critical thinking are firmly grasped along with the development of social skills by students. We must get it right the first time, and everything that we do must be towards the goal of student achievement. 
In the meantime, the Education Ministry has also provided a new sixth form block for the Garvey Masaya High School in Clarendon and recently commissioned the Marcus Garvey Room at the institution. Education Minister Reverend Ronald Thwaites says this is the sixth institution opened by the ministry in recent weeks and forms part of the thrust to improve the condition in which teaching and learning take place. And I haven't forgotten the promise, Gabby Masseo, when I came here last year. We said we'd finish the building for you and with you, and that's happened, and we congratulate those who have made it possible. And this time it was done on time and in budget. The minister also promised to help the school with other infrastructural developments, such as refurbishing their canteen and providing new furniture. The Consumer Affairs Commission, CAC, is taking action to ensure data protection for Jamaican mobile phone users. The Commission's Chief Executive Officer, Dulcie Allen, says the entity continues to meet with the country's mobile providers on the use of consumers' personal information. Very often persons give the information to the providers and they have other persons sending them messages. So your personal data is being sent all over the world without your even knowing it. Speaking at a recent JIS think tank session, Mrs. Allen said statistics show that more than 3 million mobile devices are currently being used in Jamaica, highlighting the importance of examining the rights of cellular phone customers. We are saying that consumers must be provided with a very clear outlined contract in simple language a person can understand. Mobile device data protection is one of the areas being highlighted by the CAC to mark World Consumer Rights Day on Saturday, March 15. And finally, an appeal is being made for Jamaicans to get screened for colon cancer, the third highest incidence of cancer in Jamaica. Consultant gastroenterologist at the University Hospital of the West Indies, Dr. Mike Mills, says there's a 12.8% incident rate of colon cancer among women and 17.9% among men. Dr. Mills was addressing a recent JIS think tank session as part of the observation of Colon Cancer Awareness Month in March. He said everyone was at risk but the disease could be prevented if the necessary steps including screening were taken at the appropriate age. Once you hit age 45 to 50, we know that your risk of colon cancer increases. This is the age that we start to institute screening. Dr. Mills further recommended that persons avoid eating fats, red meat and processed meat, limit alcohol intake to one or two glasses of red wine per day, and avoid smoking. And that's it for GIS News Today. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Thank you for watching. Family, school, church, community, all important agents of change in our society. They influence what we think about ourselves, our surroundings, and how we see the roles of males and females. Let's all work together for equality for all Jamaicans. Let's make Jamaica a place where both males and females have equal access to a good education, good jobs, the best health care, and opportunities for the good of the country. Males and females are different, but it doesn't mean they're not equal. Let's build a Jamaica that doesn't discriminate. Become, become an, an agent, agent of, of change. What do you think about the level of violence in our schools? Not cool, right? Our children need to know that they can learn in an environment where there is no fear of disruption due to conflict. The Ministry of Education has stepped in to implement measures to provide that assurance. <laughs> Criminals are not born, they are formed. Often by neglect, often because of poor socialization. And the major positive environments in the formative process of, of our family, sometimes church, and certainly the school. And it's because of this reality why the government of Jamaica is tightening its reins on the level of security and safety within the nation's schools. In fact, it's a strategic priority. The Safe School program dates back to 2004. It was revised in 2008 and continues to be reviewed um, even in 2014. Under this program, safety and security policy guidelines have been implemented in 164 high schools, 111 all age and 86 junior high schools. Further expansion will take place in 595 primary schools starting September this year. This all in an effort to highlight appropriate values and attitudes expected of students 
as well as to sharpen their understanding of the dead-end nature of gang involvement, as well as to reinforce positive and law-abiding behavior patterns. The work is driven by trained police personnel called school resource officers, who are strategically placed in learning institutions to maintain law and order. They are supported by deans of discipline, of which there are currently 110, with plans for more to be appointed. The Education Ministry is also working with schools to ensure all of them have a functional security and safety committee. The committees are driven by in-house and outside stakeholders. From teachers, guidance counselors and chairmen of school boards, to officials from the Office of Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management and the Jamaica Constabulary Force. That group would assist the school to take care of many of the challenges that do occur. The manual guides the principal of how to proceed with a lot of issues. For instance, the principal has to ensure that the school campus or the school premises is safe and um, they are, are mandated by the policy to effect searches in the schools to search for weapons, contraband. It is the right of any school official to appropriately search a student in order that we can for, for, forestall once and for all the carriage of dangerous weapons or any other kind of contraband in the school. School is no place for ganja, for tobacco, for liquor, for knife, let alone for gun. In terms of the number of fights, the number of weapons being, being found in the schools, um, they're on the decline. And this is as a result of the strategies that have been employed by the Ministry of Education through the deans of discipline, along with the other stakeholders who work in the school environment. Checks and balances are carried out by security and safety in school officers who visit schools regularly to ensure the appropriate measures are being carried out. In January 2014, Minister Ronald Thwaites tabled a paper in Parliament on a preventative initiative in schools to ameliorate Jamaica's crime problem. This resulted from an education and crime study done by the Jamaica Constabulary Force, which showed the links between the negative behavior patterns of children and their latter antisocial conduct. Some schools were identified as needing the most help under the school-wide positive behavior intervention and support program. This is not to place schools of blame on anyone. It is simply to indicate those where the greatest help is necessary. A behavior management committee was created to spearhead a range of efforts in the most affected schools. This started in February. The students which, who, which princ who principals find are difficult to maintain in, in, in class are now being subject or will now be sub subject to intense counseling, to intense Medi in intermediation by professionals in order that they may, their, their behavior may be properly analyzed and corrected where possible. The Education Ministry is also leading the charge to expand and revamp uniformed groups in schools right across the island to help reduce the level of violence among students and build morale. It helps, the drill, the displays, the, 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 the training helps in discipline. And we feel that that will help the, not just giving the youngster uh, for school, but a lifelong disciplinary young man that is going out into society. Through the National Parenting and Support Commission, Parents and community members are also being targeted to assist in ensuring safety within and around the nation's schools. Meanwhile, the physical infrastructure at schools is being shored up. Through targeted policies and practical applications, the Education Ministry and its many partners is on a mission to improve security and safety within the nation's schools providing students with the right environment to work hard and excel. Everyone connected with the school experience must be held accountable. No one could ever state that it is a, the purview of teachers alone. It is not, or of principals. It involves a combination of home, 
community and school. But the school is the locus. It is the place where the greatest degree of attention, presence, resources, including that where necessary and appropriate of the security forces, can coalesce. Jamaica, give blood for it. Give blood and give the gift of life. So safe you don't have to think twice. For Do what you can for one another. Yeah, ma. Be a hero, be a blood donor. Yeah, yeah, me people, watch it. Give blood. For your sister and your brother, save the life of another. You might never know. Give blood. Cause you know my life, you love many people want blood. The father says so. One blood. Sign up to them. Be a blood donor. Many people want blood. The infectious sounds of reggae music drew many Jamaicans and even tourists to the capital city last month. If you didn't take in at least one of the events put on in celebration of Reggae Month, then you missed out on a lot. Here's Karen Smith with a little recap. 28 days, more than 40 events and no time for sleeping. February witnessed the unleashing of numerous activities, cementing Kingston as a cultural superstate. Let's look back at the celebration of Reggae Month, it's Kingston for February. The Tourism and Entertainment Ministry led this charge, supported by the Ministry of Youth and Culture. Together, they spent more than $6 million sponsoring the month of events. So for the first time, entertainment is being used as the base of an advertisement where we have actually done a reggae month promotion in Canada, a, reg a reggae month promotion in Chicago, a reggae month promotion in New York, and a reggae month promotion in Florida. The promotion reaped benefits. Hundreds of tourists flocked to the capital to experience the pulsating beat. Based on the, the registrations we have been doing at events, it seems we have upwards of 500 people here from different parts of the world. We saw dozens of people from various parts of Eastern Europe, Scandinavia, Sweden, Hungary, and that's amazing. It's nice to come here to town and every night something's going on and you meet a lot of people and see a lot of good art and hear a lot of good music. With the Jamaica Reggae Industry Association, Jaria, leading the way, organizers delivered outstanding events, satisfying the entertainment appetite of both locals and foreigners. Just give a little and a praise him. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. This weekly Wednesday night production was the highlight. I'm from the block, yes, you see my blood. There is no disgrace, I am black. Emancipation Park was the main venue, but patrons followed when one week found the show at the Rani Williams Entertainment Center as part of Jaria's trade show. There is no this award on behalf of Adina Edwards. The Courtly Hotel was another nice venue for Jaria's award ceremony honoring reggae style awards and newcomers alike. We are thankful to Jaria and we cannot express in more detail how happy we are to see Dad actually being at the age of 96 who has contributed so much, has lived to see this day and I'm sure he's equally humble. The fighting, don't disturb me when I'm sleeping. Jaria's biggest event may well have been the Dennis Brown concert, which drew thousands to the Kingston waterfront. Somehow my love has been misled. Tell them on the way, your love is like wildfire. I love you, I love you, I love you and all. Then there was this. Oh my God, it's cold. Such a sense of 
You might be tempted to call it the reggae cold splash, but there was nothing frigid about the two-day Blue Mountain Music Festival. A stellar lineup of world-class performers and exhibitors made sure of that. Hollywell is one of the best places to come in Jamaica, really, if you want to just relax. So it's everything all in one that you could really need for a nice weekend. The remaining members of legendary band Third World used the occasion to pay tribute to bandmate Bunny Ruggs, who passed away just days before the show. That sounds like a packed agenda, right? Well, February also made space for a community initiative honoring reggae's most famous landmark. The Trenchtown One Week Festival pulled many to the streets that gave the music the likes of Alton Ellis and Bob Marley and the Wailers. So now we can sleep. But we'll surely miss Reggae Month. The events were great and a lot of information was shared. The countdown has started to Reggae Month 2015. See you there. If you own at least one mobile phone, you are among more than 6.8 billion people in the world. And these days, when they are like many computers, we are always trying to get the best services in one package. It's that realization that's driving the theme for this year's World Consumer Rights Day, Fix Our Phone Rights. The day is being celebrated on Saturday, and the aim is to give information that will help us to monitor the treatment we get from mobile phone service providers and hold them to certain basic standards. These include reliable service, clearly defined contracts, fair and transparent billing procedures, methods to protect shared data, and proper channels to receive and address complaints from customers. That's just for phone services, but when we know our rights as consumers about any product, we'll be better able to shop with confidence and keep our businesses competitive by demanding the best from them. To learn more, the Consumer Affairs Commission is on the web, so check them out at cac.gov.jm or call 906-5425 or toll free 1-888-991-4470. Picture this. It's a Monday morning and everything is going well. The children were able to reach school on time, you're completing tasks on your to-do list at the office, and everything seems fine and dandy. Then, in just a split second, you feel an excruciating pain in your head. It persists until late evening, and you decide it's time to go to the doctor. Multiple tests reveal that you need surgery to remove a blood clot. What do you do? Well, that's where insurance comes in. Life is unpredictable, but through insurance, one can be prepared for any eventualities. Insurance is a fairly old concept, but it's simple. It is a promise to pay for some damage or loss that occurs to somebody or a business for the exchange of a premium, a charge. So you pay me, to cover for some unfortunate, unforeseen loss that causes damage, and if it happens, I'll pay out nah, whatever it costs you. In essence, persons pay a premium or money on a monthly, quarterly, or annual basis depending on the arrangements, and if something happens, the insurance company will in turn give you money or assistance to compensate for the loss. Now, even though there are different types of insurance, they fall into six main categories, auto, property, liability, life and health, money, and business interruption. It's about insuring your physical property, your home, your business, um, equipment or contents in your home um, or in your business. And it insure, it, the insurance covers you for a multitude of different things, you know. Um, from fire to hurricane to flood, earthquake, etc. 
So in the event that your roof was blown off during a hurricane, for example, once your insurance policy makes provision for that, you will be able to replace your roof. Life insurance is covering you, the person, um, in case of that unfortunate uh, demise. Um, you buy a life insurance policy and it's supposed to last, last throughout your life. And then when you do go, the insurance company will pay out to your beneficiary who you stated on the policy. Those beneficiaries can be your spouse, children, family member or friend. It gives them a chance to take care of expenses that you would have taken care of if you were alive while giving them a chance to adequately take care of themselves. You can insure cash. You have cash in your business, um, you know, you may be held up, you may lose the cash in transit to the bank, whether it's um, via an accident or via being held up, and you can insure that as well. Getting an insurance policy is not as difficult as one may think. Jamaica has over 10 insurance companies and scores of brokers and agents. You can access the market by speaking with any of these persons. Once customers adhere to the terms and conditions outlined in the policy contract, the insurance companies are entitled to compensate customers for any loss they face. Now, cost of living is getting higher and some may argue that their disposable incomes cannot afford additional demands. How do you choose which insurance policy is important? Well, the first ones are the ones that are required by law or regulation. You can't avoid those. So you're driving a car and the law says you have to carry a minimum amount of insurance. So even with the rising cost of living, you have to make sure that you're budgeting for your insurance for your car because it's a requirement by law. You want to consider all the eventualities of life and what can displace you and your normal livelihood. And if you can afford to be displaced by a certain amount, then those are policies that you can cut back on. For the ones that you cannot afford to be displaced by, then you need to maintain those policies. A gentleman, let's call him Joe the Plumber, um, he's a primary breadwinner for the family, um, wife doesn't work, two kids in school, he's supporting the family, um, he has his life insurance policy. That's something that you don't want to stop paying. You don't want to stop paying that because you have people depending on your income to survive. Um, so before you think about cutting that one, you know, you need to look at other ways in your life that you can save um, because that's very important if something should happen to you. So if Joe the plumber had a $1 million life insurance policy, his family could get that money to continue meeting their basic needs. From time to time, insurance companies are known to give customers the runaround, but there are certain things you can do to minimize the hassle. Keep a checklist, learn all you can about the claims process, speak to your representative frequently, submit required documentation on time, and stick to the terms and conditions of the contract. Read the policies. Uh, most companies have specimen policies available, sample policies available. Um, if they're not readily available, if you ask for it, they can make them available to you. Uh, contact a broker, contact an agent, sit with somebody, especially when it gets more complex to explain issues to you. Make sure you read the policy and ask questions. So it does pay to insure. Think about the types of insurance that work best for you. Make the sacrifice to pay the necessary premiums. It makes no sense being penny wise and pound foolish. It's the end of this half-hour package, but the learning doesn't have to stop here. There's our website, YouTube and Twitter page full of information. And we're also looking out for you to correspond with us. An email would be good or a shout out on Twitter. Come back right here, same time tomorrow for more details on helpful policies and programs of the government in a brand new magazine edition. Until then, I'm Adrian Atkinson. Have yourselves a wonderful evening. This has been a production of the Jamaica Information Service, the voice of Jamaica.